Well, we're out here in Idaho's Big Lost River. I never have run the jig for gold, and this river has some very, very minute flower gold in it, generally in the sand. So we're going to run it today and see what kind of job it does recovering that flower gold. We've got it set up over here. Got the auto feeder set up. Got the jig set up. Pick up up the hill up there with a couple hundred gallons of water in it. I don't know if you can see the lights really bad, but I've got one eighth inch shot, about an inch of it, for ragging in the jig box. And over the top of that there will be about a half or three quarter inch or just whatever ends up, probably some of the sand. And I have no idea how much of the sand will go through the ragging. Hopefully not very much, but we'll find out. I'm going to get this thing filled up and get it running and then take a few seconds of video of it running. And then I'm going to shut it off and I probably won't be back for a couple hours. See ya. Okay, we're at it. The sand's pouring into the jig at a decent clip. The jig's running. You've got a sand bed. You can't see the steel shot. But it's, the bed's jigging like it's supposed to, so we'll see what happens. I may slow down the sand a little bit, we'll see. There's a view inside the hopper or the auto feeder. going to be interesting. I'm getting a little slop over into the bucket even though I'm not draining the hutch of the jig so we're going to get a little sand in there probably regardless. I don't know what to do about that because I'm a little sloppy. I need to do a little better job of sealing that screen box up it looks like. But we'll see what happens. I'll be back later. Well, we're down to about the last couple of gallons of about 65 gallons, which is probably about, well, probably 700, 750 pounds of sand. Looks like I'm about down to the bottom of the bucket. Give it a whack here. Might have got a piece of wood stuck in there or something. There we go. Getting more cons than I was hoping for. I think the reduction rate's about 20 to 1, 22 to 1, something like that. I've got about a half a five gallon bucket of cons here. Most of it's really fine material. So we'll see how that works out. Today, the change that we made over yesterday's video is that I made a screen box that's only an inch deep. And that puts the top of the shot ragging right at the outflow level. And you can compare that to the box on the right which is two inches deep and previously the way we've done that is we had one inch of shot in the bottom and then we let the upper inch fill up with the country sand or gravel or the mix what, that we were running. And I don't know if this is what the problem's been. 
is that that layer, one inch layer of sand and so forth, just left sand in contact with the shot so long while the jig was running that a pretty high percentage of it just worked its way through the shot layer. So that's what we're going to try. So I'm going to get everything set up. I think we'll do it inside the shop today. It's hot outside and that high altitude sun here will cook you and I'm not getting any younger. So I'm going to set it up in the shade and I'll be back. Well, it's a couple days later. I had some things come up yesterday and I'm going to slow this down a little bit. So I'm just getting to it. This is Monday morning. I'm still feeding way fast. Now I'm feeding too slow. Came to a complete stop. I think I'm going to up the water flow a little bit. So here we are, we're running and we'll see what we end up with. We've got the same amount of material looking in the feed hopper. You can see the material slowly going down. It's the same quarter inch minus we had before. So we'll see how it does. Got a nice steady rate of feed into the jig, and if anything, this material looks a little dirtier. So we'll see how much mud we end up with in the hutch. I'll be back. I cleaned the, finished the run, and if you can see down in here, I cleaned that really well with clean water. But we still got, we'll take you out here and look in the bucket, we still ended up with just about the same amount of material as we did before. I think this is a little one gallon pail. So we got about three quarters of a gallon in there. And it just seems that with that one eighth inch shot and one inch of it, it doesn't really make any difference if you've got that shot in the bottom of the screen box or a shallow screen box that puts the top of the shot right up nearly level with the outflow. I'm going to go to town and see if I can get some quarter inch shot and I think I'll do a run with that just to see exactly what happens. Back in a while. 